At the west end of the church are the remains of a tower. This tower collapsed on Good Friday, 15th of April 1881. The crash could be heard from all around Chester. The tower was never rebuilt and had just the base remains. During the English Civil War, cannons were placed on top of the tower to bombard the city. This is what path is The church was shortened in the 16th century, leaving three lady chapels at the eastern end, now outside the building in ruin. Inside the church is famous for its transitional architecture with rounded Norman arches on the columns and above them Gothic style arches and the pointed arches which is said to be brought back by the uh, a style brought back by the Crusaders from the Middle East copying styles from the mosques in the later period after the 11th century the great west window tells the story of St John's. This small commonwealth font with the initials WW carved on the side was probably given to the church after the Civil War by church warden William Wilson. This organ was used at Queen Victoria's coronation. This unusual 17th century memorial is to Diana Warburton and was created by Edward Pierce, a pupil of Christopher Wren. It shows a unshrouded skeleton. This screen of curious ironwork was installed in 1660 and was originally positioned across the Norman arch of the sanctuary. It was moved to the chapel belonging to the Warburton family. This memorial is to George Marshall was executed in Bolton. St John's is also famous for its collection of medieval tombstones and also Saxon crosses. In the western near the font is a short history of St John the Baptist Church. Electric lighting was first installed in 1946. This window in the porch represents King Ethelred, the Saxon king who was said to have founded the church. This private building was once an anchorite cell attached to the church. About the year 971, King Edgar visited Chester. During his time stay in the city, he, the rest he held an unusual ceremony which involved himself. rowing six or eight tributary kings up the River Dee from Edgar's Field at the bottom near the Dee Bridge to the river near St John's, where they went to the church and these six 
or eight tributary kings swore allegiance to him. Yeah.